What's going on, Capricorn? Welcome to your love reader for the first half of June 2021. I'm Emperor Gem. I dropped the new, the news and the jewels, <laughs> if you didn't know. If you're new here, I have children. That's my disclaimer. Uh, but general message, guys, take what's for you, leader us behind. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Cross Watchers, because we know y'all here for love. Equal energy exchange with your girls. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Yes, I do personals. All information is below. We'll get into it. Um... I heard I Miss You by Beyonce, like every day, okay? Um, somebody thinks about you constantly every morning, like all day, all night. Like you're always on this person's mind. They could possibly even dream about you. I feel like somebody wants to come back around, but I, the energy I'm picking up, I'm questioning why they want to come back around. Like I saw passionate assets and now we have deception looking at us. Like I feel like this person is trying to come back around for all the wrong reasons or they're into you for the wrong reasons. I feel like... Um, that's for some of you. I feel like this is a 50-50 spread. There's somebody who's who's around or in it for the wrong reasons. And there's somebody, and then there's the other side where somebody isn't opening up and realizing that they're with somebody who inspires them every day. They're with their true counterpart. This person is somebody that they they can build with. They have everything with the love, the passion, the, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups with this person. And somebody could be wearing a false mask and deceiving themselves out of having a true relationship, a true bond, a true soulmate connection here with someone. Somebody that's constantly on their mind, on your mind, or you're constantly on their mind, okay? So we're going to pull from the astrology deck. No, I do not have the name of this deck, guys. It is not mine personally, but we're going to see what signs are coming towards you. I see cancer as an aquarius as well as extra messages that we'll get from the deck here okay there's leo capricorn there you are showing up in your own reading okay you have the opportunity here to do something great okay to set the boundaries here see you're going through some sort of healing process and yes the universe is working with you you may feel like it's hard at this time but this is a lesson that you need to go through when it comes to love okay so Let's see, what do we get here for Capricorn? Spirit, we thank you. Okay. Somebody might have stepped out. I just say it. Dreams. Dreaming about this person constantly. Pisces energy here. All right. Um, the imagination runs wild. Magic. Yeah, somebody could, could be doing magic in this relationship, trying to manifest you back in. Or you could be manifesting someone in here. Okay. Like I said, where there could be some sort of deception that's going on, some sort of illusion here when it comes to love here. Somebody could be overly sacrificing themselves, okay, giving too much into a relationship here. Or somebody could be making sacrifices that is causing them to miss out, again, with that wearing a false mask on something that is meant for them truly and entirely. So, Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn when it comes to love? Who's coming towards them? And additional messages, please. Capricorn. Thank you. Capricorn. Capricorn. 12th house, Pisces energy, needing to surrender, okay? This is a karmic lesson here. There's some karma. We still got that dream state happening here, some forgiveness that needs to take place, okay? I feel like I said, going back to whoever is avoiding their one, their connection, their soulmate, their bond, this person that they know they should be with, okay? I feel like in your mind, it's coming up for you that, you know, you need to surrender and give into this relationship. This is what you've been manifesting. This is what you've been looking for. This is what you want. This is your everything. This is your life partner. This is your partner here, okay? I'm also picking up here for a lot of you guys when you have somebody... You're, this is karma for some of you guys. Like, if you're messing with somebody and you think that they want you, like, I feel like you're the reason I get up in the morning and when we had that magic card, okay? Somebody could be getting up and doing stuff literally during the witch's hour, trying to get, like, you know, astral projection, going to your dreams, you know, making you feel some kind of way, but they have other ulterior motives, okay? With this trying energy showing up first, um, upright for me, it's saying to go with the flow right now to just um try to... Um, get your life together right now, all right? Surrender and go with the flow of things. See how things are going to turn out. Do not push an issue. Do not push a situation here. Um, do not lie to yourself either. Um, truly go with your feels here, all right? Um, th trying. I, I don't know. First time I'm picking this up in a reading. I'm picking up a third party type energy situation here. It's time to let something go so that you can move forward to what you really desire here. <laughs> Stop wearing that false mask, okay? We got Pluto transformation. 
that's the death card, that scorpionic energy here, a death, a transformation, a rebirth in the situation, okay, renewal, all right, like I said, somebody could also be obsessed getting up at these crazy hours trying to manifest you into your into their life, but for what reasons, thank you spirit, it's tingling, but I'm on it right now, somebody is doing this, like astral projecting, going to your dreams, trying to cause these illusions for you, okay, because I feel like they only view you for sex and money, I can't lie, like this is a person who's very power hungry for uh, the, those of you who are dealing with a deceptive energy who is only coming around for the wrong reasons those of you who are deceiving yourselves it's time for you to death of the ego i heard okay and stop lying to yourself because a lot of you guys are like really obsessing like your 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 mindings are going crazy because you can't believe that this is like the person but you wake up with them on your mind every morning because you know this is your person this is who you want to be with you know they have something to offer aries energy here with the first house okay going through an awakening becoming aware some of you like i said waking up and having this person on your mind all right um i just got outer body so like i said somebody is definitely astral projecting going through portals okay to get to you for those of you who have that deceptive energy around you be very very careful and cautious of this okay yeah worth waiting for divine timing is that play forgiving it and learning i feel like for a lot of you guys just you know to try to keep it solid you know Y'all know how the two stories is playing here, but divine timing is at play right now in your life. You need to let go of control issues here when it comes to dealing with a situation and just let things unfold and unravel. A lot of you guys could be in a se separation right now from somebody, somebody that you were committed to, but it's, I feel that the attraction is still there. You guys can come back. The passion is still there, all right? The money. Okay, there's that money, that attraction, that passion. For some of you guys, you need to pay attention to why you're really dealing with somebody. Is the romance really there or is this for convenience? You need to free yourself up. I feel like go within so that you can understand what's really going on in this situation. Aries energy with that emperor, letting go of control issues, allowing things to unfold. It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to engage with individuals. It is safe for you to go out there and seek, okay? Do not close yourself off, okay? Do not do that deception. Do not put that false mask upon yourself to feel that you don't deserve this love or don't feel that this love is for you or that it's not happening. Yes, this is happening, okay? You need to release your ex or any past energy that is stopping you from moving forward towards this love that you want to make effort on, okay? So spirit from the love oracles. Let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius here? You didn't get your popper, so we'll come from this way. Yeah, soulmate energy. I'm telling you, like, you either have a karmic who's trying to screw you over or you have a real genuine soulmate energy that's coming in and they're your person. They're your life partner. You need to surrender and go with this, okay? So, Spirit, what do you have for our Capricorn here? Let your friends help you, okay? And keep an open mind. Finances and career, like I said, for some of you guys, this definitely has to do with your stability, your money, how stable you look to somebody, okay? Um, this person, this could be somebody who's a friend or somebody you friend zoned, okay? Somebody that you run in the same circle with, all right? It could be somebody that you never thought that you'd be with as well, okay? Who's coming in. This person is very stable for those of you who have like the more positive aspects of this and not really dealing with that person who's coming in for you for your money you need to keep an open mind if you have that energy that deceptive energy around you i feel like there are people who have warned you about this and you need to stay open to the information that you're receiving in regards to this person here about how this person i feel like is money hungry is all about status and they're not genuine okay Whew, that was a lot to spit yeah seeing that truth with that libra energy about the actions that you need to take standing your ground here okay yes Knowing that you need to stop going back and forth about things. And again, with that Libra energy, bring balance. Close out cycles, make things fair. Karmic justice, I just heard, to some sort of third-party situation or just some sort of heartbreak and grief. There's another three of friends with benefits situation. So, okay, so some of you guys could have a friends with benefits situation that could have ended. This person could be trying to come back around and act like they genuinely care about you. But no, they want to use sex because they it's sex for money. That's what I heard, sex for money. Okay, this person needs something from you. Let's get into the more positives here for those who have this person because we picked up a lot of energy and information on the deceptive energy. I want to look into the good love, please, spirit, for Capricorn, okay? All right, mm, Capricorn.
Capricorn, you're underneath the duck with the devil. But like I said, putting in work, you guys are hard workers. You're putting in work. And like I said, getting out with your friends, your family, enjoying life again. Somebody sees you doing this. Could be a Virgo here. Okay. Somebody at your job as well. Could be keeping an eye on you or somebody that you know you work well with. Okay. You guys have the same motivation, the same drive. You could work in the same field. Could be in the health field or whatever. Or just servicing and giving to people. But you guys, I feel like, can go the distance with whoever this person is here. Yeah, Leo energy. I feel like there was clarity brought to you when it came to dealing with this person. Or again, in the morning. It's something about the morning when the sun rises, okay? A heavy Leo energy, though. Or August, something about August. Something about August. I don't know. Maybe something could have came to light back in August or whatever that just like really made you realize like, oh my gosh, like I need to put in the work or I need to do this or something of that nature. I'm not sure. Yeah. Something that you know that you need to take action on. Um, you have clarity about something that fulfills you, that makes you happy here. Okay. And it's like, you're still thinking, you're wondering, like, I feel like that's you with that deception there, putting a false mask over your own self, deceiving yourself out of love that you are rightfully worthy of. Okay. Something that brings you joy. Okay, yeah, you need to not be codependent here and go towards this new opportunity. Understand that you have planted this seed already and it is growing. Whatever it is that you have manifested is coming towards you here. Your obstacle here could be a Gemini or it could be the fact that you don't know what to do, who to choose. Because again, so i just seen 75%. <laughs> I've seen 75%. There is two people here, okay? And you're having a hard time because one person is here for sex and money. And the other person here is like you're everything, truly and entirely, okay? And that's why I got that third-party information from that trine, okay? When I said I felt third-party energy here, okay? You're trying to decide who's the better person for you. Let your friends help you because I feel like they 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 have an insight on... They have it's like that outside looking in, okay, and they can see things from a perspective that you cannot see here. They can help you illuminate things. Could be a Leo friend even that can help you illuminate and see things for what it truly is. Like help you really sort out like what's up with this person, okay? Or how you feel about this person. Like go and talk to your friends and family about, you know, your perspectives here and or your prospects. And I bet they can help you make a better decision here, okay? Going for it, you will have love. You will pick the right person. You will pick the person who sparks you up, who makes you feel good and all that. Yeah, because you've manifested having this person. You've been watching and waiting and you've been manifesting that King of Wands energy that we started with in the beginning, okay? Your counterpart. You've manifested this person in and I feel like you're going to get ready to finally take action and make a decision on who it is that you want and you're gonna lead, it's going to lead you to having the right love. Again, you're still torn about making this decision. You could still be battling some sort of addictions or codependencies here. Capricorn, okay, or just this fear. It's time for you to face judgment here with this divine timing, Sagittarius energy, and go towards what's stable for you, okay? You know the truth in a situation. It could be the truth about some sort of air sign or a fire sign or even an earth sign. We got Virgo showing up again, okay? But I feel like within your confidence, you know that you need to go somebody, let someone go because you want real love. You know that you're trying to go towards something stable, something that is longevity, a marriage, you know, a commitment here. But again, there's that fear of whether or not you're going to make the wrong decision, okay? If you're going to choose the wrong person. Again, seek advice. Um, I'm here for a small amount of you. You need to look within, like truly. Like I feel like you already know the answer, especially with that king of air. Like he already knows. Some of you guys, yeah, you was you definitely could have had somebody in a third party or was dealing with third party type energy. And now it's time to look in the mirror and realize who or what it is exactly that you want. You, you got to cut somebody off. Yeah, you're really thinking about this new beginning here because you want ten of pinnacles. That's what that father of earth is about. He's that pinnacle, okay, about that longevity, that stability. And it's like you're really sitting here now trying to take the time. And you know that you have to move towards this new beginning. Yeah. And more so, you want somebody who's going to love you. You want also love in a situation. And I feel like somebody is only coming with, you know, the wands and the pinnacle, but they're not coming with the cups. And somebody does have the cups, but you're like really blinded because I feel like maybe this person is not your typical type, okay? Or, you know, you, you don't feel like you guys have a lot in common or 
you know, different religions, backgrounds, or whatever the case may be, but there's so much love here. There's such a strong bond connection. We got the lovers and the love card, two of cups. That's so many energy. Somebody who will equally give to you, okay? This is an older gentleman here. He is, um, he's stable. He's the married husband, the father, okay? Trying to be this guy in the end with this woman, okay? Having that longevity. See how they got the family tree and everybody name up there? That's what you're trying to build here. And I feel like it's coming here, but you need to make a decision now, okay? You need to cut away some third-party energy here, something that is interfering with your ability to move forward towards what is not for you, Okay? So let's get a lunchbox love note for our Capricorn. Lunchbox love note spirit. Close them out. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. I will be lost without you. And I feel like that's how you feel with the energy of the person that you know you should choose. The person that you feel like, I think about you every morning. And if you're not by my side, what would I do without you? That's your one, okay? And that's the person. I am still wearing the smile you gave me, okay? This person brightens you up. They, they, they're they lively. So it's like you have this fear because there's, there's an interference here that you have to let go. There's a third party that you have to let go. And it's like if you don't lose, if you don't let it go, you know that you're going to lose or miss out on the true person that you want to be with, okay? This person makes you happy. They, they give you the feels. They give you everything, okay? And you know this. They, they're the sun, all right? So yes, Capricorn, that has been your message. If you need to book a personal, all that information is below. You know I'm here for it. And until the next time we speak, peace out.